Hi there, this is Alan, or KD7ALT, as some of you might know me as. The SLK Lithium Battery, which I've been turned on to by uh, Will Prowess online, actually on YouTube. Great videos from him, a lot of informational stuff. Uh, this is my third and fourth one. Uh, the one out of the box is going in my kayak, my fishing kayak, with my... Uh, uh, brushless trolling motor so this should last a long time on that motor uh, the one in the box I have not seen anybody do any unboxing videos just had them out on the bench I'm not gonna tear them apart there's already enough videos of people tearing these apart and showing what's inside and from what I see the construction is just phenomenal for what they are and what you get for the price uh, the things that I love about this battery, one is the cost, uh, two is the size, three is the weight, far less than a 100 amp hour lead acid battery by far. Um, the construction is just excellent again. Uh, the things that I uh, really, really love is the fact that if any one of the cells die, you can replace the cell. If the BMS battery management system, which is attached to the underbelly of the lid with an exuberantly large heat sink goes out then that can be replaced too and I every one of these that I have gotten this is going to be number three for the trailer that runs the trailer that we're in my toy hauler I have a two kilowatt magnum inverter I'll show you that here in a minute but it's a box in a box which is adequate for shipping and I will leave a link with my discount code and everything at the bottom. Of course, you get this handy dandy little card that says thank you and please register and blah blah blah. But packed in foam and a bunch of air around it in the foam so it does not get damaged. I have not had one damaged on shipping yet. I'll pull this out one-handedly of course and pardon the mess in the trailer we just got back from a trip and getting ready to go out on another like I said I'm running a magnum inverter uh, right now I have the charging set up for silent bulk charge is set for 14.6 volts for two hours uh, for these batteries and then a float charge of 13.8 and uh, it begins to start charging at 12.8 I can lower that down a little bit but right now with as much power and adding one more battery this thing will run for a week or longer before it even starts charging again before it even drops down to 12.8 which is still a good battery plenty of power but that's what I have it programmed to do when I'm plugged in. Uh, if I'm not plugged in, then I have the full capacity all the way down. And I can go well over seven days with using the inverter intermittently for Keurig and other things. Fan for the dogs. Amp meter right here. Another find from Will Prowess online. Or actually on YouTube, sorry. Um, but they have a new version of this, which I'm probably going to get and try that out the plugs and the shunt should be exactly the same but this tells me everything that's going on in the battery and as you can see right now we're at 81.1 percent capacity and the last time this was charged was when we drove back from uh, our trip for five hours of a run and that was we got back yesterday so and we've been running battery and inverter and stuff in here for some cleanup and other things uh, the way I have the inverter set up is that it is not running any high loads. Air conditioner and the refrigerator, which burns 300 watts when it's on electric, uh, it is totally separate from those. This is just running all of the general outlets, the TV outlets, and stuff like that. That is it. I managed to be able to go into my power center and uh, manipulate the bus bar, move some breakers around, and relabel some things so that way I have a breaker to the inverter, a breaker from the inverter, and 
the other breakers are just running the uh, general outlets and stuff like that. So, and then the blank spot, hopefully right here soon, will be the uh, monitor for the solar charge controller when I get my panels. I'm going to use Rich Solar. I've been using them for my customers. They're great panels for the price. 100 watts a panel, monocrystalline. Do not get poly, get monocrystalline. Uh, Amazon, great deal. Can't beat it anywhere else. They're under $100 for a panel and then right around 10 bucks for a bracket kit. But I'm gonna do the MT75 as the new charge uh, controller monitor panel. That's gonna go right here. If I do decide to get a new one of these, unfortunately it's square or rectangle compared to round. What I may do is use this spot, cut it out for that charge controller monitor panel and then bump it over here. But I have enough wire back here. Everything's pre-wired for the solar monitor panel. I've got a network cable here. And then, pardon the mess again, behind one of these kick panels back here are the wires that it's going to go up to the roof for the solar and all of my wires for the char for everything run under the floor all the way up under the bed where everything's at so hang on a second and we'll go that bit of a mess back here but uh, if you can see down there is where the wires come through there's a couple of uh um i have bought some goodies to be able to attach more wires to some uh, studs with uh, insulators the shunt for the battery monitor or the amp meter right there and on this side is a 300 amp fuse for the inverter and the inverter sorry upside down right side up is neatly tucked under my battery tray that I built to go inside my under the bed of the toy hauler right up front so I have room, as you can see, for one more battery. Have the two there. The uh, I already have pre-wired, pre-set up some uh, jumpers for that. And the proper way to do this when you do a battery bank is you want a positive on one end, a negative on the other, so everything equalizes properly. I am using two aught cable because I'm so close to the inverter. If you go any further than like six feet, I highly recommend going three aught. Uh, all of my wire again Amazon best friend you could buy wire with battery lug ends and these are the nickel plate uh, tinned battery lug ends that came with the wire and heat shrink so everything in one kit it's a great deal and I've been using uh, Amazon to get stuff for my customers as well for my solar and inverter installs and lithium batteries uh, my crimper, I don't have it with me right now, it's put up, but I'm using a hydraulic uh, crimping tool. They, are, they do make the ones, that like the kind I call it a potato smasher, but you stick it in with a hammer. They work okay, but I prefer the hydraulic ones because it makes a cleaner uh, crimp than the, uh, the smashing ones. So hang on a second, let's go grab the battery. This one's sitting at 13.2 out of the box. I know that from measuring the other ones. And all the batteries right now are sitting at 13.2, so everything's fairly equalized. But on the next charging session, everything will equalize from there. And don't worry about these batteries. There's plenty of uh, padding between all the cells and the case and everything else. It fits nice and neat like that. And all I have to do is, oops, sorry, is, uh, uh, Bolt them, bolt the wires on. Now, these are metric studs. Don't over tighten them. They're a 13 millimeter socket or wrench. Uh, other than that, everything should just go straight and forward. I'll grab my ratchet that I left in here. And, and with these batteries, I'm just going to say this I have the equivalent of two, four, six seven and a half wet cells with uh, the power equivalency of these batteries so you can imagine the weight of that many batteries and the cost of the replacement of these batteries uh, in time because wet cells they just don't last forever it's just not a superior not a very good technology 
Unfortunately, that technology has been around for ever. And uh, it's about time we have new battery technology in this world that uh, makes things a little easier. So we are going to undo these and then we are going to disconnect the hot lead to the inverter. So we're going to disconnect the hot lead from here. I believe is that the one that I have long enough to go over here? Yes, it is. Okay, so that will reach. This will reach. Find the red one. Trying to set you up 